What's going on everybody? How we doing? Hey, uh, got Mrs. Sarah with me today. She's going to be the supervisor, superintendent, whatever you want to call it. And uh, got a couple things this morning before we start cutting grass. I think we have 14. Is it 14 today? Somewhere around in there. Yep. But good day, man. It's, it's going to be hot, obviously. Um, but uh, we had rain for three days. It rained yesterday morning. I had a doctor's appointment. I have a, I have inflammation in the SI joint in my back. And uh, he said, give me four or five days. Should be getting better. So I trust him. Um, anyway, real quick, there is a new channel out there that... Uh, the Lawn Stars and I fell upon Burnt's Lawn Care. I'm going to put that up here. You know what I do. That's going up there. I want you guys to go over, say hi, tell them Doc sent you, support them. Another one is Tucker's Dreamscapes and Designs. Please go over, subscribe to both of these guys, man. Let's get these channels going. Help them out. I know what it was like to be a small channel. These guys both do great work. And uh, let's get them moving and just tell them, hey, Doc sent me over. I'm going to watch. I'm going to subscribe. I'm going to support you. Anyway, super important topic today because I feel like I feel like there's something that holds us down in business from being what we want to be, even in life. And uh, we're going to talk about that, but uh, we're going to get plenty of footage. And you know what? It's 645, I believe. Yeah, 649. I'm waiting to start at 7. Watching a little Ray Ray on my phone. And uh, I cannot wait till tonight's video. That's all I'm going to tell you. But uh, anyway, I'll catch back with everybody. We'll get plenty of footage today. We'll have a... Uh, thought of the day from Miss Sarah. It could be a blind joke. It could just be whatever she wants to say. It might not even, you may say, well, that was awful cruel. It doesn't matter, man. Whatever she wants to say. So, hey, let's get to work, guys. guys those stripes are definitely not as straight as I want them to be 
This yard is super bumpy and you can't really see what you're cutting. I'm cutting on three and a quarter. If I cut on four inch, I wouldn't be able to see it at all. Um, no excuse. I'm just off on this yard um, for some reason. I uh, started out pretty decent, but man, it's got some bumps and then it's got a hill that dips down and to the right. So it uh, throws you off on the way back. But uh, hey, let me blow this off, get a couple more done. We'll chit chat, see you in a few. Okay guys, I'm at my next one. And Sarah wants to bring you an important, a very important message. And uh, you may want to join up ASAP. Go ahead, honey, tell them. When you see all these landscapers on other sites, don't be fooled. LUA, Landscapers United Association. How did we join? I don't know. I'm not a landscaper. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so. I got it. 1-800-GO-CUT-IT. There it is, guys. 1-800-GO-CUT-IT. Get over there right now, call them, join up, LUA, Landscapers United America. Honey. Is it America or Association? Oh, Association? You want that or America? Let's do America. We love this country. Landscapers United of America. There it is. And uh, 1-800-GO-CUT-IT. She's crazy. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, guys. Just got done with the last one. Got to go home and do mine. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted to show you this. My buddy and my customer here is doing something. I've never seen it done, but this is the coolest thing ever. And, uh, you know, um, he doesn't want to have to carry lawn furniture away with him when he moves. So he made his own lawn furniture out of skids. So, so tell them, man, what'd you do? Uh, I just got to, basically I got the pallets for free and then uh, all it really cost me was some deck screws and some paint. This is so cool. I mean, look how he did it. So he took the backs off of the skids and used that as the support, put those at an angle, and then he's painting everything. And then he's buying cushions for him, which is not near going to cost that much. And there you go, man. You got furniture on your deck. That is awesome. <laughs> and you learned it from YouTube, right? Sure, sure did. It just goes to show you, man, you can learn something from YouTube. Uh, whether you do anything with it or not, that's up to you. All right, guys. All done for the day. Just got done cutting my little slice of heaven for now and uh i'll tell you what i've been thinking about this today and i was thinking about it yesterday what is the one thing that keeps you from achieving what you want to achieve what is it that's holding you back well there really is only one thing that holds any of us back from doing what we want to do and that's ourselves and uh, I've been trying to keep it really straightforward with you guys so I'm going to keep it straightforward as hell today the only thing that stops you from succeeding in any business in any part of your life is yourself laziness procrastination bullheadedness, attitude. So, you know what I say? You want to succeed at lawn care? Because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about lawn care businesses, okay? This is a lawn care channel. Everybody wants to keep it lawn care related. Stop worrying about everybody else. Quit making excuses. I mean, it's bullshit, man. You make excuses. I've talked to so many people and they say, how did you do it, Doc? Well, this is what I had to do. Oh, man, I couldn't do that. Then don't 
sit there and tell me you want to be successful. If you are not willing to do everything it takes, late nights, weekends, work until your hands hurt, work until your back hurts, no fun, no time for vacations, no time to go do things. If you're not willing to build and believe in yourself, then you're just wasting damn time, man, okay? The only thing that holds you back from being the best you can be is yourself. Because honestly, I could care less, and so could anybody else. Now, they'll tell you they care as they're succeeding. And you know why people succeed? Because they're willing to do things you're not willing to do. You know why people are jealous of those who succeed? Because they are willing, they are not willing to do what that person had to do to get it. I mean, I am so sick and tired of the BS that goes on around YouTube. People kissing each other's ass constantly. Oh man, you're great. Oh man, no, you're great. No, you're great. No, you know what? I'm the one you got to watch out for. Because while you're talking about it, I'm hustling and getting it done. Think about that. Think about that. While you're sitting there thinking about starting your business, there's guys already out here doing it. So, do you want to be the best you that you can be? Or do you want to sit on the sideline and watch everybody else go get it? Because the only thing stopping you from succeeding is you. The only thing holding you back is you. The excuses. All the BS you can come up with, man. Well, man, I would do it, but I don't have the money. Well, I would do it, but I don't know where I'll get the customers. Well, you know, my friend did it, and he didn't succeed at it, so I'm not going. Well, my dad told me I wouldn't make it. Well, you know, this guy was doing it, and he had all these headaches with it. Some of you out there have more excuses than I've got fingers and toes. Yet you talk about how successful you want to be. So the only thing stopping you is your own damn self, man. So don't drag everybody else down with you. If you don't have the drive, the determination, it's in here. It's in here, man. If you don't have it in there, Get on the sideline. Watch. Keep, keep to yourself. But I'm telling you, the only one that's going to do this is you. The only one that's going to work. Nobody will outwork me. Nobody. They will talk about it, but they won't do it. And the, and the other guy that's successful, and the other YouTubers that are successful that you see that say the same thing, I'm trying to outwork them and they're trying to outwork me. That's competition, man. Iron sharpens iron. Competition makes you better. Now, I know Ray Ray does a hell of a job. I know Big Mo, Brandon, uh, Elite. But in my mind, I outwork them all. Yard Boy, these are all my friends. But in my mind, I outwork them all while I'm out here. You see what I'm saying? You gotta have the mentality that you are outworking the next guy. Nobody can outwork me. I'm telling you. You you may say, oh man, you, you're full of yourself. I don't care what you think. I do not care what you think. I'm gonna keep hustling. I'm gonna be the best me tomorrow I can be. Just like I was the best me today I could be. I knocked out 15 yards today. What did you do? Well, how many did you knock out? Or was you sitting on Granny's couch leaving messages on people's YouTube channel telling them how wrong they were doing it? I'm just saying, y'all. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you understand what I'm saying. In no way am I putting anybody down I just believe in here, and in here, nobody can outwork me. And you know what? They believe the same thing. The successful folks, they believe the same thing. Think about it. So, who's holding you back?
don't don't use the excuse that you don't have the money don't use the excuse i started this lawn care business with 11 freaking dollars man you can't even get a combo meal for 11 bucks so i don't want to hear it guys i love y'all wish the best for you if you like the video hit the uh subscribe hit the thumbs up don't forget over to get over there and subscribe to those awesome channels and uh if you enjoyed the video and it helped you and you want to donate to the channel please do so hit that thanks that super thanks with the little heart and the dollar sign in it as always dr real was in the house keep it real man have a conversation with yourself be honest with yourself who's holding you back peace